All right, so real quick, we're gonna talk about OSD freezing and I'm gonna do a quick little experiment kind of live if you would, uh, to show you in real speed here or in real terms, uh, what can happen. So OSD, I, I, I believe, and this is kind of a hypothesis from all of the building we've done, which I've done over 80 of these DGI builds in various forms of vistas and air units and all that. Uh, micros, big ones, macros, all kinds of stuff. Uh, never had OSD freeze, <clears throat> um, but I kind of triggered one yesterday on the bench accidentally in beta flight uh, while setting one up. And it made me realize that the instability, just like power, the instability of the OSD line can cause some funky issues. And one of the issues that makes a lot of sense is uh, if the MSP wires are compromised in any way. So compromisation or how they could be compromised would be bad solder joints, sure. Uh, the wires shorting out on something, even if you think it's not, the, the bad silicone silicone wires that they say they use, uh, they melt. And they very easily, with heat generation, cause little bubbles and little holes throughout them sometimes. And that could be sitting on a component, like a small micro component on the, on the flight controller or another pad. Uh, and, and, and it could do that like just in vibration of like in flight, maybe it just bumps up against something or something, right? Uh, that's an instability, something that causes the MSP line to just be unstable. So uh, also plug and play receivers, the pins being bent or being uh, just a little bit out of tolerance on how tight they're touching. Uh, again, some resistance there or some lack of connection. Uh, so anything there that is caused inst instability can cause the, the beta flight OSD elements to freeze because the data gets interrupted. So we rigged up our Hornet HD, which Conrad will love, hopefully. Uh, and we put this little itty bitty uh, MSP line plug. So basically my MSP line is running with a plug and I'm gonna show you the voltage. We're gonna go fly it, we'll bring it back, we'll look at the voltage, and then we're gonna unplug it while it's still all plugged in and ready to fly. Uh, we'll unplug the MSP line and look at the voltage, and then we'll go fly it and then come back and look at the voltage. Uh, so what this again will show is uh, we'll fly. So basically, I mean, I'm doing this after landing, but assume that this happens mid-flight or whenever, uh, this instability, so to speak. So uh, we're going to set that guy down. Uh, I don't have the monitor or anything, so you're just going to have to deal with it. Um, we will set the camera. Uh, let's see. How do I? So we'll go fly real quick. Just a quick little lap around and just come back. So right now we're at 12.2 volts. We'll just, you know, bring it down into the low 11 or high 11. So here we go. Voltage is showing 11.7, 11.3. So we're going to bring it back. This wasn't like, hey, go rip and watch me rip while I'm, while you can't watch me. Nope. All right, so we brought it in. It is sitting at a well. Hold on, it just jumped. Um, it is sitting at eleven point nine. So we're going to show you that in the goggles. All right, so we have MSP disconnected, and you can see down there twelve volts. Yep, right below my flip flop to the right. Twelve volts, zero minutes. So we're going to go for another quick little flight. And bring it back and it should still read 12 volts. Now one thing to note, because it doesn't know I disarmed, I'm also getting higher latency than I should, which is again, another problem people have all the time is they think that they don't have the range or the milliseconds. The the latency is so high, which it is right now. I'm at, oh, I'm having a hard time bringing it back. Uh, I am at 65 milliseconds. Still able to fly. All right, but my voltage is stuck. Voltage is stuck on 4.0 and it is also stuck on 12. So, there you go, proven instability in that voltage line is what's causing your your osd elements to freeze 
All right, so there we go. Um, OSD element is frozen on all the Betaflight stuff. You can see there, 12 volts, four volts, zero minutes. And again, I stayed in low power mode, which, you know, again, people don't realize that that's an issue is that MSP line being unstable definitely affects uh, your OSD elements.